In this lesson, you learn about foundations. This video will give you a general overview of foundations within Revit. Revit has dedicated tools to create foundations and substructure. Most of these tools will stay associated to their hosts. For example, a pad foundation will change position if a level of the structural column moves. The below images show various different types of isolated foundation elements that Revit can create. We have a pad foundation, a pile cap with piles, and a sleeve foundation. Wall foundations are placed by simply selecting a structural wall. The wall foundation is automatically placed at the base of the wall and will stay associated with the wall position and geometry. In the image below, you can see two examples. On the left hand side, we have a simple bearing foundation, which is equally spaced around the wall. And then we have a retaining footing, which can have a separate heel and toe length created. Foundation slabs are very similar to floors and are system families. The foundation slab can be formed of composite materials and blinding can also be applied for quantification. Note that a foundation slab can also host a slab edge as shown in the image on the right hand side. The slab edge is controlled with various different profiles that the user can create. Okay, so that concludes this introduction to Revit's foundations.